Sorry, Artie. First flight nerves, I guess. Yeah. Here, let me have a go. That's a good idea. I'm not having any luck here at all with it this morning. It's really very cold. There we go. Got all your things? Right. I've got the knack. You sure have. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, although the fastened seatbelt sign is now off, we suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened when seated. If necessary, you may move about the cabin. Teeth, Auntie Vanessa. It is a flat. I thought there was something funny about that steering, but you wouldn't listen to me. Sorry, Auntie. But you just don't get this sort of silly aggravation with aircraft. Well, perhaps if we sit here and look helpless, someone might offer us a lift. Pathetic. We'll crack this ourselves. Now then. Where's the wheel spanner? Oh, dear. <laughs> Really done. I don't really belong at ground level, Aunt Vanessa. Yeah. I didn't mean to be rude about your car. It's very nice of you to give me a lift to the airport. <laughs> My little runabout's used to being insulted by now. Cars are okay, I guess. What kind of a maintenance schedule are you running here, Auntie Vanessa? This tire's flat too. from the garage. No way. Stories I've heard about the way they exploit helpless women. If you want the job done well, you do it yourself. That's what Dad used to say. Perhaps some night errand will stop for us. You'll have to learn to fend for yourself from the outback, you know. Your father's farm is hardly the outback, my dear, and neither is this. You know, I can see a garage not even a quarter of a mile away. Industry and application, Aunt Vanessa. Air stewardesses are supposed to be resourceful. You're not an air stewardess yet, dear. I will be after today. If ever we get to the airport... We will, just as soon as I get this wheel off. Oh, God, love us. Hey, I'll take it, dear. I've got the knack, too. <laughs> I wish there was a knack to blowing up a spare tyre with a hole in it. Really, Aunt Vanessa, what's the point in driving around with a dud spare tyre? It's the garage, then. Crooks and swindlers. Well, I suppose we've got no choice. Unless we wait for a night errand. No, thank you. Look, you stay here and get your breath back and I'll go. Take your bag, dear. You might have to pay for it. Oh, there you go. Good girl. While you're trying to work that one out, perhaps you'd like to explain this. So he did escape from Traken. 